let's talk about some tips for working women. Teresa Taylor was one of the top execs at a Fortune 200 company, and she believes that women can have it all, but we need to approach our work and our family lives just a little bit differently. Mm. I wrote it to encourage women to stay in the workplace. In her book, The Balance Myth, Teresa Taylor is helping women rethink work-life success. The mother of two was also the COO of Quest, a multi-billion dollar company, and struggled to balance the demands of the corner office and her family at home. I was missing meetings, I was missing projects, my kids thought I was going crazy, my husband was like, this has got to stop. Her secret to regaining her sanity? She stopped looking for that work-life balance. Forget about balance. It's not there, stop searching for it, stop being frustrated and talking yourself into all you know, these terrible places. And in fact, um, integrate. Instead of balance, blend your life together. She started with her schedule. Put your life together on one calendar, page, whatever that is for you, electronic piece, and then look at it and say, is this how I want it to be? And asked for help. I was not ashamed to go up to a complete stranger at soccer practice and say, I know we haven't met, but our two sons are practicing. Can we work out a carpool? Taylor learned to say no. And feel good about it and be fine with it. So I said no, I'm not going to rethink it. I'm not going to renegotiate with myself. I said no, and I'm done with it. She surrounded herself with a great team at work. Well, I have a parks and recreation degree. It was my undergraduate degree, and somehow managed to you know, be a CEO of a major corporation. It was because I surrounded myself with people that were far brighter than me and experts in different areas. And when all else failed, let it rip. You know, so I went into the women's bathroom and cried. I went home and had, you know, five margaritas. I did those things to so just let it go, let it release out, and then get over it and get on with it. Because you do, you have to put your game face on when you go back to the office. Nobody wants to see their boss having a meltdown. That's not a good idea. Another great strategy, Teresa says she uses a layer system. It's just like getting dressed when you're not sure what the weather is going to be like. Wear layers so you can take them on and off as needed. Teresa says do the same thing with your day. Create as many layers of help as you possibly can. That way when things go wrong, you have options. And that can take some time to build up. But if you have choices and backup plans, she says you're less likely to find yourself in a jam. And look, don't be afraid, she says, to go up to that perfect stranger and say, hey, let's help each other out. We're both moms. Right. Like, I, I was carpool. having this conversation just this, this weekend about how hard it is and you know what a trade-off it is you know, now doing a full-time job and raising kids and the whole thing and how tough it is to balance it's amazing i'm wondering why in the world he was having this conversation but we don't have enough time for that folks <laughs> <laughs> says our resident awesome working mom <laughs>